Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily create a sniper scope. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with everything else on this channel. And with that in mind, let's take a look at our work. So, I have a scene, nothing too drastic, it's just from the asset store and if you fancy taking a look, it is just Morgroom PBR. And obviously I had nothing to do with this, so this is just something I like. Now, creating a sniper scope is actually a lot easier than what most people think, and there's a little trick to it. The trick is to use a certain type of texture. And I have a texture here, which is a PNG format, and the center of it has been deleted out. So it's basically see-through. But if we bring it into Unity as it stands, as a texture, you won't see through it. We have to change it. And we need to change up here to Sprite. So if we click that and click apply, and just for reference, I will um, link this texture in the description below if you want to use it. And next thing we need to do is go to game object, go to UI and image, not raw image. Make sure we do click image. Drag and drop this texture onto source image over here. And then what we'll need to do is click on the anchor position and stretch it the entire screen zero out the position so it covers the entire screen and you should be able to see already here our canvas is covered and if we press play there we are there is our sniper scope however it's not useful like that we need to actually use some mechanics to make it more like a sniper scope so let's create a c-sharp script right click create c-sharp script we'll call this sniper scope and again, this is much simpler than what people realize. We need to declare two variables, one being the player camera and the other being the actual UI itself. So I'm going to get rid of any annotations and avoid start. We do not need them. And we need to go public game object and we'll have player cam. Next one, public game object and sniper scope semicolon so you can use any key you want i'm going to use the left mouse button just for convenience for this but if you want to use a different key you would set it up in unity if you want to use the right mouse you would use well i'll tell you what to change so what we need to do is if and in brackets input dot get mouse button down and in brackets the number so it's like one uh, zero one two so zero would be the left mouse button which is what i'm going to use then open curly brackets and within here we need to access the camera and the field of view for the controller so we kind of zoom in because it's a scope so we need to put player cam dot get component spiky brackets camera open close bracket dot field of view equals and for a bit of reference now i'm going to show you which we actually use so on the fps controller and the fps character we need to use this field of view section here now the higher it is the more like this it is the lower it is the more zoomed in it is so think of it as higher zoom out lower zoom in so let's set this as half of what it currently is so it's currently set 60 so let's set it as 30. semicolon Next thing we need to do is set the actual scope as active. So sniper scope dot set active true semicolon. And that's that if statement done. Now we do need to create the inverse of that because, well, obviously, because if we click, it'll stay on. So we, what we can do is actually copy that if statement, paste it. And we need to change if uh, import dot get mouse button down to up because we need to recognize that the mouse button is coming up. So if it is coming up, we need to reset our field of view back to normal, which would be 60. And we need to turn off that sniper scope. So that would be false and save the script. Now we just wait for Unity to have a little think down here. And perfect. So it's only a few lines of code. So let's drag and drop this script onto our first person controller and then let's set those two variables so the first variable player cam will be the first person character and then secondly the image will be our sniper scope and then finally before we press play we need to make sure that we turn the image off 
up here. So we need to set it as inactive. Now when we press play, we should see our scene. No problem. However, let's zoom in here with our sniper. So we left click. There we go. And there's our sniper. And then when we let go, we go back to normal. Perfect. So you can do this many ways. You could even experiment with animation to actually create a fade in and a zoom to the actual, um, you know, the field of view. But that's entirely up to you. This is just easiest way of creating a sniper scope. And yes, all you would need at this point is your raycast mechanics, your gun mechanics. And there you go. You have yourself a sniper rifle. So guys, I hope you found that useful. And if you want to know any more, please leave a comment below. And I will see you in one of my many other tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.